Chapter 1, Prologue. Hi, duelists. It's me, Yugi, and the one and only Joey Wheeler. Today, we're hosting a special program for everyone watching this DVD. We're going to tell you how to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. It's my favorite game, and I know it'll be yours, too. Yeah, and if you perfect all the techniques in this DVD, you'll be a master duelist, like yours truly. Right, Yugi? Uh, you're a master duelist? What? You don't think I can duel? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Of course you can duel. Joey wasn't much of a duelist until he learned all these techniques. And now he's one of the best duelists in the world. Hey, you're embarrassing me. You don't have to lay it on so thick. Even though it's true. This Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game Duel Master's Guide will explain everything you need to know so that you can jump right into your very first duel. All right, let me give you the basics of the game. The object of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game is to win a match against your opponent. Each card battle against an opponent which determines a win or loss is called a duel. A match consists of three duels. The player who's the first to win two duels, or who has one win and two draws in a match, is declared the winner of the match, which means the player's the winner of the game. Right. However, if the result of the three duels is one win, one loss, and one draw, or three draws, then the match itself ends in a draw. Each player begins a duel with 8,000 life points. The life points gradually decrease due to the amount of damage you get from battle. If your opponent's life points are reduced to zero, you're the winner of the duel. It's also important to remember that if both you and your opponent's life points reach zero at the same time, the duel ends in a draw. You can't draw a card when you need to because you've run out of cards in the deck, you lose the duel. Be careful. In addition, if you have all five Exodia cards in your hand at any time during the duel, you instantly win the duel. So far, we only explained the basic rules. Right. Now, we're going to delve into more detail in each chapter. Chapter 2. Preparation. To begin a duel, you need a deck containing a minimum of 40 cards. The set of cards you use in the duel is called the deck. The deck must contain at least 40 cards. Aside from this minimum limit, your deck can contain as many cards as you like. Also, you can have 15 additional cards in a separate pile. This is called the side deck. Between duels, you can exchange any card in your deck for any card in your side deck. But after exchanging the cards, you must have the same number of cards in your deck. This means the number of cards in the side deck must always be 15. You're allowed a maximum total of three copies of the same card in your deck and side deck combined. Also, in your combined deck and side deck, you can only have one copy of each limited card and two copies of each semi-limited card. To get the most recent information regarding the limited card list, tournaments, and much, much more, you can visit www.yugio-card.com. Check it out! Next, I'll explain the game map. This field is where you place the cards and battle with them. The half of the field nearest you is your side of the field. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Deck zone. Your deck is placed face down here. At the beginning of your turn, you draw one card from here. Monster card zone. This is the zone where you place a monster card. You can only have a maximum of five monster cards in the monster card zone at the same time. Spell and trap card zone. This is the place you can use spell and trap cards. You can only have a maximum of five cards in the spell and trap card zone at the same time. Field card zone. A field spell card is a special kind of spell card that can only be played here. Some examples of field spell cards are Yami and Sogen. Fusion deck zone. If you use fusion monster cards, put your fusion deck here. The fusion deck consists of a group of fusion monster cards. The fusion deck is always kept separate from the deck. Remember, the cards that make up the fusion deck are not counted towards the 40 card limit of the deck. Graveyard. 
This is the zone where you put destroyed monster cards and used spell and trap cards. Chapter 3. Card Details. To make a strong deck, you need to know all about the features of the cards. There are three main card types. They are monster cards, spell cards, and trap cards. To win a duel, you must construct a deck that's well balanced with these three types of cards. And you have to use them efficiently. Let's take a closer look at these cards so that you can develop your strategy. Monster cards. Monster cards are the main cards during a battle. The role of a monster card is to destroy your opponent's monster and reduce your opponent's life points. Of course, monster cards with higher attack points or defense points make a more devastating impact. Remember, you can only place one monster on the field per turn. There are various kinds of monsters, each with different features, so using them efficiently at the right time is the difference between victory and defeat. Normal monster cards. These are the basic monster cards. Some of them are really powerful. Effect monster cards. These monster cards have various effects. Even when compared to the effects of spell cards and trap cards, many effect monster cards have useful effects. An effect monster with low attack points and defense points can sometimes take an important role during the duel. Fusion monster cards. These monster cards are summoned by using two or more fusion material monsters, along with a spell card such as polymerization. Check the rule book to learn how to summon fusion monsters. Ritual monster cards. You can summon this special monster onto the field only when you fulfill the specific requirements by having the designated ritual spell card and the monster cards as a tribute. Check the rule book to learn how to summon ritual monsters. Next, I'll explain the information shown on each card. Attack points and defense points. Attack points and defense points are the numbers used to judge the result of a battle between monsters. When the card is in attack position, the attack points are applied. When the card is in defense position, the defense points are applied. Level. Level indicates the strength of a monster. In general, the higher level monsters with lots of stars are stronger. Type. Type shows the feature of a monster. There are 20 different types. You need to pay careful attention to the type because types are affected by specific spell cards. Attribute. There are six different attributes. In addition to the type, you also have to pay special attention to the attribute because some spell cards are applied to a specific attribute. Spell cards. Spell cards have various effects, such as increasing your monster's attack points or defense points, destroying your opponent's monster, controlling your opponent's monster, restoring a monster from the graveyard, and much, much more. Keep in mind that usually you can only use a spell card during your turn. Besides normal spell cards, there are continuous spell cards, equipped spell cards, field spell cards, quick play spell cards, and ritual spell cards. If you check the icon on the cards, you can easily distinguish what kind of spell card it is. For more details, check out the rulebook. Trap cards. You must set trap cards face down on the field, and you can activate them after the start of your opponent's turn. The effects of trap cards are very similar to spell cards, but one different feature of trap cards is that if the timing's right, you can activate them even on your opponent's turn. In most cases, trap cards are the cards that can help you out when you are really in trouble. Besides normal trap cards, there are two other types of trap cards. Continuous trap cards and counter trap cards. Check the rulebook for details. Is everything clear so far? Now, let's develop strategies that reflect your dueling style to create your own personal powerful deck. Chapter 4. Phases of Gameplay.
Well, Joey, how about we start dueling? All right. But first, we have to prepare for the duel. In the beginning, don't forget to say hello to your opponent and shake hands. Next, shuffle your deck thoroughly and hand it to your opponent. After you receive your opponent's deck, shuffle it a bit. This is called the cut. After the cut, return the decks to each other. Now you have your deck back. Put your deck onto the deck zone in the game mat. If you use a fusion monster...